Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about that kind of hazy rasp that bands like um, Nickelback, Hinder, and Earshot kind of use over their vocals. Um, also, millions of other bands, most likely. Um, but anyways, it's, it's the same exact technique as just adding rasp to your voice. The only difference is you... it's different. <laughs> um, so you, you kind of... you make your sound a little more breathy, and you just kind of put this little tiny bit of rasp on, and then you just kind of like let it sit there. Now, um, this kind of rasp is much more uncomfortable vocally because um, now when you're doing the aggressive vocal parts, you're already being aggressive. But with these, they're not aggressive, so it kind of feels weird. You're like being like the vocal cords aren't aggressive, but the brass muscles are aggressive. Um, so anyways, now I'm just going to pick the song Someone by Earshot because it's my favorite song by them. But like the beginning part of the song that starts off like, um, And if you could make a... For every single time you lied, I'd probably whisper this Hello, goodbye, and if I could see again Now um, I got the pitch a little wrong and the tone a little wrong, but that's basically what he does. And it's very hard to explain, so I'll just do another ex <clears throat> another example first. Um, the song um, Hinder, by Hinder, I forget what it's called, but it's like, um, Honey, why are you calling me? So late It's kinda hard to talk right now I kind of Talk right now And the way I kind of get this rasp is I'll like get that Let's just say the, the Someone by Earshot So you get this like And if you could make up And if you could And if you could And if you could So you kind of get like a little um you know, the rasp, you kind of go like, eh. This, you just kind of go like, eh. So it's much more breathy. So if you get that, eh, push more air and kind of release a little bit. So it's a very light amount of rasp. Or you can just kind of go like, he. And the, the false vocal cords, you just kind of tense them a little bit. Um, not your throat, but your actual false vocal cords. So, he. And it's much more breathy. And it's very light rasp, and um, it's a lot of wear and tear in your voice. But if you do it right, you should be able to sing an entire set without worrying about hurting anything. Um, or anything long term, of course. So, like, for Pinder, it kind of goes into, like, um, um, what, what are the lyrics? Wow, I completely forgot. Honey, why are you calling me so late? It's kind of hard to talk right now. And then in the chorus, he goes into full rap, so it's like, um, it's really good to hear your voice saying my name, it sounds so sweet, calling from the lips of an angel, hearing those words, it makes me weak, and I never want to say goodbye, and he kind of has a light rasp over everything, but you kind of, you put it on, and then you kind of go in and out of light rasp and regular rasp, and it's very subtle. And that's about as good as I can explain it. Um, if you have any questions, ask me, and I'll probably do another video like this. The only reason I made this video is because I've had a bunch of people ask me about this kind of rasp. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so have questions, ask me, subscribe for more, and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.